A Los Angeles woman intent on looking like Barbie has spent over $35,000 on cosmetic procedures. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more social media news every single day. Ophelia Vanity's latest surgery is on her eyelids to make her look, in her own words, more Caucasian. The procedure is called a blepharoplasty and involves removing tissue from the eyelids so that they open wider. She also continuously gets Botox and monthly lip injections. As far as future procedures go, Ophelia says she wants breast and butt implants, a nose job, skin bleaching, and even wants to remove several ribs to have a slimmer waistline. Ophelia is half Icelandic, half Chinese, and thinks appearing Caucasian is a more mainstream, iconic look. I just want to make sure that like my eyes will be, um, you know, as big as possible. In a documentary for Barcroft TV, Ophelia talks about her struggles with anorexia and body dysmorphia. She says she doesn't condone anorexia, though she's posted photos to Instagram of herself proudly at 85 pounds. That Instagram post ends with a reminder that Jared Leto is her ideal man, and if he remembers her from Larry's party years ago, he should definitely reach out. But wait, she has a boyfriend, right? I call that a hall pass. She's got over 74,000 followers on Instagram, most of whom love her look, but others online are not being so nice. Coco Crazy Love says, you seem like a sweet person. Why would you want to ruin that personality with your appearance? Mossy Dear Bone says, it feels bad to give this lady attention. She seems a little unwell. Mini Muffin said, to me, it's more shocking that the doctors go through with these surgeries. You made an oath to protect life and health, not to money. To which I actually had that exact same thought, but I think that anytime there's an opening and it involves some kind of cash, someone is gonna slide right in there and do it. So every pot gets its lid, right? Seriously, it does take a very special kind of person to be like, sure, I'll remove one of your ribs, no problem. What? Is that even a thing? Like, how is that legal? It reminds me of Nip Tuck from like years ago. I'm totally dating myself right now, but those doctors seemed completely unemotional when they did anything. It was like, sure, we'll do that for money. Barbie is a popular look for those who frequently go under the knife. Cause who doesn't want to look like a skinny twig whose hip size cannot support her upper body? 18 year old Gabrielle Jerikova from Prague spends over a thousand dollars a month to make herself look like a human doll. But unlike Ophelia, she claims to have never had those body dysmorphic issues. She said, I've always been content. The fact that I like artificial beauty doesn't mean that I've ever had low self esteem. It's kind of and wanting reactions from people, positive reactions, it's kind of part of the whole definition of low self-esteem, no? Actually, I wanna know in the comments, do you guys agree with that? Let me know, is that at all part of low self-esteem? Is it possible to feel this way and have regular self-esteem? And Amanda Ahola nearly died during her third breast enlargement surgery due to a seizure and swelling in the brain, but that still hasn't dissuaded her from more procedures to try and make her look like Barbie. I don't know, I think when it starts to generally affect your actual physical well-being as well, then it becomes a massive problem. And last year, we told you about Sahar Tabar who said she'd stop at nothing to look like her idol Angelina Jolie. But many of Sahar's Instagram photos were likely photoshopped to make her look even more skeletal than she already is. What do you think about Ophelia's quest to look like Barbie? Let us know in the comments. And for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.